Hey there, Steam Culture fans. I'm just sitting amongst some essential oils, getting my inner Steam Culture balanced. Join me today as we talk about how essential oils are made with a process called steam distillation. Stay tuned. Mmm, steamy, steamy, steamy. Well, I needed some education on what an essential oil is. I thought it was some kind of backwater remedy for an illness. Well, it's not some backwater remedy for an illness. It's the real deal. Essential oils are used in food products, therapy products, cleaning supplies, a lot of places. Uh, so much so that the U.S. market in 2014 was $5.16 billion. Big money, big money. So essential oils, though, are derived from a lot of different processes. Now, some of them are pretty aged. The one we're going to talk about today involves steam. It goes way back to the 10th century. Uh, and where the first distillation process was rose petal oil, obviously using rose petals. So I want to talk today about steam distillation. So let's go to the board. Okay, so this is what steam distillation looks like in its simplest process. So in the first case here, we have a flask that has a bunch of water and it's got a fire and we're making steam. Now that steam is going to travel to a flask right here that contains some kind of mater botanical material, uh, some kind of, it could be peppermint leaves, it could be lavender leaves, it could be orange peel, which is very popular, like I said, for cleaning supplies. What's gonna happen is the steam is gonna boil and extract the oil. So along with water vapor and the essential oil, it is going to travel up this line right here into something called the condenser tube. So this process is about extraction, and separation, and this is where the separation occurs. We're gonna bring in cold water right here. It's gonna come in the tube, and it's gonna go around in a coil around this material that's coming through. Warm water comes out here because it's taken the heat from here and it's reduced it back into its original state, which is water. Well, as it turns out, the oil is lighter than water, so when it drops down into the tube here, we have water, and on top of it, we have a layer of essential oil. And basically what they do, guys, is they drain the water out of the bottom here, and that leaves you with the essential oil. And then you collect it, and then they use it in a lot of different ways. And that, in a skinny, is the process. Now maybe you've seen that process before because I think we were all introduced to it in high school chemistry class or biology class. But it was a great reminder for me. So I hope you enjoyed learning about steam distillation and essential oils and how we use them in our lives. I hope you join me at steamcultureatwearing.com. Send me some ideas or questions or comments I'd like to hear from you. Find us on social media because we're everywhere and I need to find you here next Friday for our next episode. I'll see you then.